Hello everyone and welcome back to Edureka's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will explore top 5 backend frameworks. So let's dive in and discover how these frameworks can enhance your backend development skills. But before we get into the details, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, remember to check out the Edureka's website for our training and certification courses. The link is in the description box below. Now, let's outline what we will cover in this video. First, we will start by understanding why backend frameworks are used and how they simplify backend development for developers. Next, we will explore what backend frameworks are, breaking down what they do, how they work, and why they are essential for modern applications. Once we have that clarity, we will move on to the most exciting part the top 5 backend frameworks to learn. Here, we will go through each framework, its key features, and why it stands out in the tech world. Then, we will discuss how to choose the right backend framework by sharing tips to help you pick one that best suits your projects and career goals. So, stay tuned, there's a lot to learn, and I'm sure that you will find this video super helpful. Now that we have outlined our agenda, so let's take a look at why backend frameworks are used. The backend acts as the brain of any web application. So let me explain the flow. On the front end, the user interacts with the website or the app interface, like filling out the form, clicking buttons, or requesting information. And these interactions generate requests, which are sent through the internet to the backend server. So here's where backend frameworks come in. They simplify and manage server-side operation. This include handling the request, running scripts, and interacting with databases to fetch or store data. And once the necessary operations are complete, the backend generates a response which is sent back to the frontend for the users to see. Now, backend frameworks help streamline this process by managing APIs to ensure smooth communication between the frontend and server, supporting databases to store and retrieve data efficiently, reducing the time and effort needed to write server-side scripts from scratch. Now, to put it simply, Backend frameworks are like the building blocks that allow developers to create robust, scalable, and efficient web applications without reinvesting the wheel. Now that we understood the importance of backend frameworks, let's examine them and their key features to understand what makes them stand out. Well, backend frameworks are tools or libraries that help developers build the server side of web applications. They provide pre written code, structure, and feature to simplify tasks like handling server logic database interactions, and API creation, making development faster and more efficient. Now, let's understand some of the important features of backend development. First feature that we have is ease of use. Backend frameworks comes with pre-written code and well-defined structure. This simplifies development tasks, reduces the learning curve, and allows developers to focus more on building features rather than reinvesting the wheel. Next is the performance. These frameworks are optimized to handle complex operations efficiently. They ensure faster execution of server-side tasks, enabling web applications to perform smoothly even under heavy traffic. And the next one we have is scalability. One of the biggest advantages of backend framework is their ability to scale applications as user demands grow. And they help handle increasing requests seamlessly, making them ideal for building applications that can evolve over time. And the last one is community support. Popular frameworks are backend by larger developer communities. This means access to extensive documentation, tutorials, and solutions to common problems, making development much more manageable. And together, these features make backend frameworks indispensable for modern web applications and helping developers build reliable, efficient, and scalable systems. Now that we have covered the features, so let's take a look at the top 5 backend frameworks you should master to advance your career. Now, let's kick things off with Node.js and the Express framework, one of the most popular choices for backend development. Express is a lightweight web framework for Node.js that simplifies the process of building web applications. And it comes with pre-built tools that make server-side development much easier and faster. But what makes Express stand out in its ability to manage routes, handle HTTP requests, and work efficiently with APIs? This allows developers to focus on building functionality instead of getting stuck with complex backend logic. Well, Express is also ideal for building RESTful APIs and dynamic applications. 
Its flexibility makes it go-to option for projects ranging from small apps to enterprise level systems. And here's the best part. It supports middleware for seamless request handling. This means you can add extra functionalities like authentication, logging or error handling with ease. Overall, Express is a powerful yet simple framework that helps you build fast, scalable and maintainable backend systems. Now that we have understood Express.js, so let's take a closer look at its key features that make it such a powerful and popular backend framework. First, here we have minimal and lightweight. Express.js is designed to be simple and lightweight, allowing developers to quickly set up and build applications without unnecessary overhead. Next, middleware in Express helps you to handle tasks like request processing, authentication, and error handling making it easier to add functionality without complicating your code. Next, routing. Express provides an efficient routing mechanism to map incoming requests to specific endpoints. This simplifies handling different URLs and actions in your web applications. The next feature is template engine integration. Express seamlessly integrates with template engines like Pug and EJS. This allows you to create dynamic HTML pages efficiently by injecting data directly into templates. And the next feature is RESTful API development. Express is perfect for building RESTful APIs. It enables smooth communication between the server and the client while following industry standard practices. Lastly, Express is highly extensible, meaning you can easily integrate third-party libraries and plugins to enhance its functionality as your project grows. And together, these features makes Express a go-to choice for modern backend development. Now that we have explored Express.js, so let's move on to the next backend framework on our list. Now, let's talk about Django, a popular high-level Python framework loved by developers worldwide. Django is known for being a full-stack framework, meaning it handles both the backend and parts of the frontend, making it a complete solution for web development. But what makes Django stand out? First, it comes with pre-built tools for rapid development and this allows you to build web applications quickly without having to start from scratch. Django follows the model view template architecture, which keeps the code clean, organized, and easy to maintain. And when it comes to security, Django shines. It ensures authentication and protects against common vulnerabilities like SQL injection, CSRF, and XSS attacks, keeping your application safe. Lastly, Django is ideal for scalable data-driven applications, so whether you are building a small project or a large-scale system, Django makes it easier to scale as your user base grows. With its speed, security, and scalability, Django remains a top choice for developers working with Python. Now that we have talked about why Django is such a powerful framework, so let's explore some of its key features in detail. First, Model View Template Architecture. Django uses with MVT pattern to keep your code clean and organized. It separates your app into three parts, models for data, views for logic, and templates for user interface. Next, high security. Security is built into Django. It protects your app from common attacks like SQL injection and cross-site scripting, so you don't have to worry about vulnerabilities. Next, object relational mapping. Django's ORM connects your app to the database seamlessly where you can write Python code instead of SQL queries to fetch, update, or store data, saving time and effort. Then comes the scalability. Django makes scaling easy. Whether you have a small project or a massive system, it is designed to handle traffic and growing data efficiently. Next, build-in admin interface. Django automatically generates an admin panel for you to manage your database and content without extra coding. Next, asynchronous support. Finally, Django now supports asynchronous programming. This improves performance by letting you handle multiple tasks at once, making your app faster and more efficient. So these features make Django a complete package, secure, scalable, and developer-friendly. Next, we have ASP.NET Core, a modern web framework developed by Microsoft. It's an open-source platform used for building web applications and services. It is known for its performance and flexibility. It supports cross-platform development, making it ideal for creating apps that run seamlessly on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Now that we know what ASP.NET Core is, so let's explore its key features. First, cross-platform support. 
You can build and run ASP.NET Core applications on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, making it versatile and accessible. This means developers can work on different operating systems without any compatibility issues. Next, high performance. It is optimized for speed, ensuring your web applications run faster and use fewer resources. This makes it a great choice for building applications that needs to handle high loads efficiently. Next, dependency injection. Build-in supports for dependency injection makes it easier to manage and maintain your code. DI promotes cleaner, modular, and testable code by reducing dependencies in your applications. Next, Unified MVC and API Framework ASP.NET Core combines MVC and Web API frameworks into a single model, simplifying development. So you no longer need separate frameworks for handling user interfaces and APIs. Next, Asynchronous Programming it supports asynchronous programming, which improves responsiveness and scalability. This is especially useful for input-output operations, making your applications perform better under heavy traffic. Next, built-in middleware. It comes with built-in middleware components for tasks like authentication, logging, and routing, saving your time. Middleware helps streamline the request pipeline, allowing you to add essential functionalities effortlessly. Now that we have seen ASP.NET Core, so let's shift our focus to another popular web framework, Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is a web application framework that builds on the Ruby programming language. It is known for its clean and simple structure, allowing developers to build web applications quickly and efficiently. Also, it simplifies development by using preset conventions to reduce coding complexity. Here, developers can focus on building the application without spending too much time configuring or writing repetitive code. Next, Ruby on Rails is ideal for startups and prototypes as it enables faster project delivery. Its speed and simplicity makes it perfect for quickly building and testing ideas, helping businesses bring their products to market faster. Now that we have understood why Ruby on Rails is popular, so let's explore its key features that make development faster and more efficient. First, we have convention over configuration. Rails make a lot of decisions for you by default, so you don't waste time setting up configurations. This allows developers to focus on writing code instead of worrying about unnecessary setup. Next is Active Record ORM. Active Record makes database interaction a breeze. It simplifies how you create, read, update, and delete records, ensuring you to work with databases in a clean and initiative way. Then comes scaffolding. Scaffolding generates the basic structure of your application automatically. It gives you a starting point for your project, saving you time and effort. We also have integrated testing, where Rails include built-in testing tools, helping developers ensure their code works as expected right from the start. This means fewer bugs and smoother deployments. Another feature is the asset pipeline. It helps manage and optimize assets like CSS, JavaScript, and images improving the performance of your application. Finally, we have the GEMS ecosystem. Rails supports a vast library of GEMS, pre-built code packages that add functionality to your app without reinvesting the wheel. And these features together make Ruby on Rails not only powerful, but also developer-friendly, enabling faster and cleaner application development. Now that we have explored Ruby on Rails, so let's move on to another popular framework that makes waves in backend development, that is, Spring Boot. Spring Boot is a Java-based framework built on top of the Spring Framework. It's designed to simplify backend development, especially for creating microservices and standalone applications. With Spring Boot, developers can focus on writing business logic instead of dealing with complex configurations. It offers built-in tools to reduce boilerplate code, making development faster and easier. This framework is widely used for enterprise-level application and is perfect for teams looking to build scalable and efficient backend systems. Now that we have covered what Spring Boot is, so let's take a look at why it's such a popular choice for Java developers and what features makes it stand out. Here, first we have auto-configuration. Spring Boot automatically configures your application based on the libraries and dependencies you include. This reduces the need for manual configuration, saving time and effort. Next. Spring Boot Starters Starters are predefined dependency packages that help you kickstart your project. They bundle the necessary libraries to get your application up and running quickly. Next, Externalized Configuration With Spring Boot, 
configurations can be externalized in properties and YAML files. This ensures your application can adapt to different environments like development, testing, and production without code changes. Next, embedded servers. Spring Boot comes with the built-in servers like Tomcat, Jetty, and Undertow. This allows you to run your application as a standalone jar without needing a separate server setup. And then we have Actuator. The Actuator feature provides built-in endpoints to monitor and manage your applications. You can check health status, metrics, and other diagnostics with ease. Finally, production-ready features. Spring Boot provides tools like metrics, health checks, and externalized logging, making it production-ready right out of the box. Now that we have seen the powerful features of Spring Boot, the next logic question arises such as, how do we choose the perfect framework for our applications? So let's explore the key factors to consider. When selecting a framework, there are several critical aspects you need to evaluate. So let's break them down. First, in terms of scalability. As your application grows, the framework must support scaling both horizontally and vertically without major rewrites. Next, support. Look for a framework that supports community or enterprise support. Reliable support ensures you can resolve issues quickly and access helpful resources. Next, ease of use. The framework should simplify development, reduce complexity, and be developer-friendly. So if it's too hard to adapt, it might not be the best fit for your team. Next comes is security. Security is non-negotiable. The framework should have the built-in mechanism to protect your application from vulnerabilities. Next, performance. Performance is again vital. The framework must be fast, efficient, and capable of handling the load and traffic of your application. Next, compatibility. The chosen framework should work well with your existing tools, technologies, and infrastructure to ensure seamless integration. And finally comes the cost. Consider the cost associated with using the framework, including license, development, and maintenance. A cost-effective framework provides more value in long run. Now, to sum it up, choosing the right framework is crucial for building robust, scalable, and efficient applications. And by carefully evaluating factors like ease of use, performance, and security, you can make a choice that aligns with your goals and sets your project up for success. I hope you enjoyed listening to this video. So please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries and we will reply to them at the earliest. Also, do look out for more videos and playlists and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. And happy learning!